I actually get asked quite a lot of the time how to have lucid dreams really easily, or what's the easiest way of lucid dreaming. And there is actually an answer to that. It's not actually just about doing one particular technique or even a bunch of techniques. What it really becomes about is just how well you can adapt to things and how well you can actually build up a routine or a set of habits. But that being said, here is the absolute 100% easiest way to lucid dream that I can possibly think of explaining right now. Here's what you do, okay? Forget everything else, forget all the techniques and everything like that. Just do this one thing. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna set your alarm to go off at 4 a.m. and you're gonna set it to go, so once it goes off the first time at 4 a.m., you're gonna have it go off again every single 15 minutes until 9, 9 a.m. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna cut your sleep into little chunks, meaning that every single time you set your alarm, wake up and then go back to sleep, you have another chance of becoming lucid, another ticket or another sort of seed that you could potentially have a lucid dream with. This is the fastest way that I know, this is the easiest way of lucid dreaming, because you're very likely in one of those sort of waking up, going to sleep gaps, you are very likely to have a lucid dream in that time. It's just the simplest way I know how. There are lots of other things you could do and it's not the healthiest or the best way of doing it, but it's definitely the most effective and it's certainly the easiest. All you need to do is set your alarm. That's all you, I'm, not, I'm not telling you to go and practice reality checks, I'm not telling you to even write your dreams down. Okay, this is just, the chances that you will have a lucid dream are higher if you do this. So just give it a try. You know, what do you have to lose? I mean, one night uh, of sleep, one day of feeling tired, that's all you're gonna lose here. So go ahead and try it. Try and use an alarm tone that really is gonna shock you awake so that you're definitely awake, but then you can go back to sleep easily. That's the best way I can think of, especially if you you don't want to practice any of this stuff, you don't want to learn about reality checks. If you just wanna, if you've just heard about this and you wanna just give it a go as quickly as possible and see what it could be like, then this is the easiest way I know how. Because you're breaking your sleep into chunks. Now don't do this if you have something to be up for the next day. Say if you are a student or you have a full-time job, don't do this because you're gonna feel tired the next day. You're gonna wake up at say, whatever, whatever time, 8 a.m. and you're gonna feel really bad, you're gonna feel rough, uh, you're not going to have any energy, you're going to feel like you didn't sleep at all, even though you did sleep a lot. So don't do this unless you're really, you're really sure that you have the time to spend doing it and also you don't need to do anything the next day. This is really the important part of this. So ideally do it on a weekend or something like that. If you're looking for any other easy ways, the easiest, the easiest ways I know are that and then just doing loads of reality checks every single day and maybe doing something like a supplement or trying Lucid Dream Leaf, trying Clary Dream Pro, which will make you remember more of your dreams and they'll be more vivid as well. Um, you can get these things online. There's links in my description, which you, I'm sure you know by now. I always point to the description and show you these links. Um, there's loads of things you could do, but really when, if nothing else is working, it just comes down to making, you need to stack the odds so, so far in your favor uh, that it becomes like more likely that you will lucid dream than not lucid dream. And the way you do that is just by, it's a numbers game, isn't it? You know, the more times you wake up and then go back to sleep in the morning, the more chances you have of one of those times being a lucid dream. So it's, when you put it like that, it's a very logical and easy solution to lucid dreaming. Um, but of course, you can't do that all the time because you'd feel rough. Use it with a bit of caution, don't do it all the time. But if you, this is the easiest way to lucid dream that I know how. So go ahead and check it out. Leave a comment letting me know what you think, how did you get on, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys, this video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel, or just click the links in the description, you'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques, and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed, or gone onto my website, or something like that.